when you lose your friends to this, it's just horrific. Absolutely horrific. Um, you know, he was a young boy. I think he was seven when he was infected. Around 1,250 people with haemophilia infected with, with HIV, and I think 308 of them were children. And I, I talked about the fact that Sir Brian's been so clear in his findings, um, but one of the things we know is that you know, in, in 1983, the, the United Kingdom Haemophilia Centre Doctors Organisation was saying that children should not be treated with these imported products. But we know there were doctors like Professor Bloom who were in Cardiff who were still treating patients. And he was the chair of the UK HDO and he was ignoring his own advice. He, he was part of the cover up. And I think Sir Brian described his actions as unfathomable. And I don't think anyone will ever be able to work out what was going on in Bloom's head and Sir Brian was clear that children at places like Trelaw School in Hampshire were being tested on. You know, they were vulnerable. They were at a school away from home, away from their parents. They had a, a, a rare bleeding disorder, which made them even more vulnerable. And then their vulnerability was completely taken advantage of by testing and experimentation by doctors there. And it's just horrific to think about. It really is. Um, so growing up with all of this has been challenging um but it's been it's been the privilege of my life to be to be the chair of the society during this time and actually get to where we are it's been um i don't think i'll ever go and hope i don't have to go through anything like this ever again in my life and it's it's people like stuart that when you're tired and you're worn down by government and, and others that it's because of stuart that you get up every day 